Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. Today, we're treating ourselves with this perfect brunch sandwich. Delicious avocado toast topped with an egg cooked in basil pesto. It's easy to make and looks and tastes amazing. We start with one avocado. To get a perfectly ripe avocado, my quick tip is buy them firm, let them naturally ripen on the counter for two to three days, test every day by gently pressing with the finger, and when it's slightly soft, it is perfectly ready. If it's mushy, then it's overripe. To open, I go around with a knife, twist the two halves in opposite directions, stick the knife into the pit, twist the knife, and the pit should come out smoothly. For easier removal out of the shell, I slice the avocado flash and then scoop it out with a fork or a spoon. Now we will dress our avocado with a small splash of olive oil, some sea salt, and I'm using pink Himalayan salt, fresh pepper, and some freshly squeezed lemon juice for flavor and to prevent avocado from browning. Mash it up with a fork to a spreadable consistency. Toast a slice of your favorite bread and spread the avocado on top. Set it aside and let's go cook the pesto egg. On a preheated non-stick pan, add two tablespoons of basil pesto. Basil pesto already has oil in it, so the egg will not stick to the pan. Crack the egg right on top of your pesto and cook the egg any way you like it. I like my egg sunny side up with the runny egg yolk. And the way to make those is once the egg white starts solidifying, I cover the pan with a lid for the egg yolk to cook through. If you're not sure if the egg yolk is heated through, just touch it with your fingertip to see if it's hot. Because sometimes what happens is egg whites will cook but the egg yolk is still cold and that does not taste good at all. My egg is ready, so I will gently place the cooked egg on the avocado toast. Season it lightly with salt, some red pepper flakes if you like, and serve it right away while it's still piping hot. Hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments.